What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to add a title block to our sheet and then we're going to update the project information of the title block. So I'm going to show you also how to edit the title block family. Okay, so we are going to create and update a title block and then we are going to edit the title block family. Okay, so let's do this. So from the project browser, here I'm going to open the E201 unnamed sheet. Okay, so this is the view. So what I'm going to do here is, by the way, uh, level 2 lighting plan view has been placed on this sheet by simply dragging it from the project browser. So as you can see, level 2 lighting plan here is uh, already colored uh, blue indicating that this sheet is already inserted or this view is already inserted in a title block or a sheet. Same with your North Level 1 Lighting Plan, Section 6, and Section 18. So if you see a shaded blue there, so that means those views are already inserted inside the title block. Okay, now... um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom zoom in to this area here. So as you can see, it says unnamed. So I'm going to click that unnamed here. Click that one and then let's change it. So let's update the title block. So second floor lighting plan and then just click outside. So you will notice after you change the name of this, automatically it also updates here on our project browser. Okay, so the next thing that we will be doing, let's change the uh, drawn by. Okay, so let's say for the drawn by, I'm going to put my name here. So Richard G. Okay. And then for the owner, so I'm going to select this one, click that, and then I'll just make it River City. Enter. And then for the name of the project, let's click that. So I'm going to call this Office uh, Building. And then just click outside. Okay, so that's it. Now, the next thing that I'll be doing here is... I'm going to edit the title block because as you can see here, it's a little tight so it overlaps with another text. The River City is being overlapped by the office building text here. So in order for us to modify this, we need to edit this uh, title block. Okay, so to edit the title block, you can click the title block and then after that you go to the mode. You can click the edit family here to open up the title block family. And then here, we are going to edit this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, height of the font here, the font height. Okay, so to do that, let me go to the, let me go to the properties and then let's select the project name label. So as you can see, it's 13 mm here. So let's click the drop down arrow. Let's see if there are other options. So there are, uh, there's 10 mm. So let me use 10 mm. Click that one. So that's it. So after that, we are going to load it back again to our project. So let's click this. And then I'm going to override the existing version and its parameter values. So you are trying to load the family A0 metric, which already exists. In this project so what do you want to do so i'm going to override it so let's click this and see what happens so there you go so it now updates okay so the next thing that i'll be doing is let me open another sheet here so let's say i'm going to open north level 2 lighting plan so let's double click that and then you will notice here that the label here is updated as well right the owner and project name parameters is updated okay so you just need to change it once so it will reflect to other uh, title block okay so now the next thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how to create a sheet okay so how to create a sheet very simple you see the sheets here you just need to right click that 
and then you just select here new sheet okay just click that and then you'll be able to see here the title blocks that is loaded in this project so if you have other title blocks you want to be uh, show it here on the title block list so you can select your load and then locate the title block of yours but for this one I'll just use the default title block a0 metric new and then just select OK. Just click this. And there you go. And also you will notice it, the owner here and then the project name is also updated. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the project information. So another way of editing the project information, aside from editing it here on our title block, you can also go to the Manage tab. And then from the Settings, look for project information okay so just click the project information and then you can see the project information dialog box so here you can put the project information so what is the organization name uh, description building name the author uh, ifc parameters and other parameters like for example the date so the date today is 02 slash 12 slash 2022 okay and then the project status so let's say uh, work work in progress okay and then the client name is already updated so it says river city and then you can put the address here okay can put the address so let's say one two uh, where's my number lock so let's click this let's specify the address so one two three uh, Autodesk or auto street okay Autodesk USA and then one two three four five that's it and then just select here okay and there you go so there's the project address and then the project name is office building and then you can put the project number here as well so let me put 2022-01 so that's it okay so i just need to select here okay so it's not updated. So if I go to the properties here, you can also specify some of the uh, parameters of your sheet here. You can specify the approved by, designed by, checked by, drawn by, and other uh, parameters. Okay. So, so what I'm going to do to update the title block labels in our uh, view window. So I'm going to go to the project browser you see there's a, a name here so that's the current name of the title block that we just created <clears throat> so let's modify this so we are going to update our title block so here we can specify the name here and we can also do it here so you can right click that and then you can select here rename so let's say i'll just accept Oh, instead of 302, I'm going to make this uh, E4.01. And then for the name, <clears throat> I'm going to make it first floor power plan. And then I'll just select here OK. So again, you will notice it updates here. So I can specify the drawn by here like my initial. There you go. And then since I have named this first floor power plan, so what I'm going to do here is, where's my power plan? So here on the project browser, so there's my power plan. You will notice the shade here is still white. So I'm going to drag this inside the title block, inside the sheet. So let's drag and drop. And then let's pick to place it. There you go. And then just select here, modify. Okay, and then you will notice immediately it becomes color blue here, indicating that your level 1 power plan is already inside the sheet. Okay, 
So now I'm going to show you how to edit again the title block. Okay, so I'm going to select the title block. So let's say I want to edit this portion of the title block. So I'm going to select title block and then I'm going to select here edit family. There you go. And then I'm going to zoom out. So I'm going to edit this. I'm going to remove all of this. So I'll just click that and then delete this. And then I'm going to put some information here. So I'm going to double click this. So this is just a text. So I'm going to put, let's say, MEP, MEP engineering, engineering, and then I'll just click outside. Let me just adjust the boundary like that. Double click again the text. And then I'll just put here one, two, three, main street. Enter, uh, let's say river city. 1A, enter, uh, 1, the 800, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then I'll just delete the rest. There you go, and then I'll just click outside. So I just edit the title block again. So after that, let us load it back. Let's click, load, and then just override it. There you go. Okay, so if you have an image, you can also put it here. So you just select again the title block, edit family, and then there is an option here, insert, and then you can import the company logo. So you can use import image, and then you can put it here. Okay, now let me just go back again to my project, and that's it. Okay, so this is just a simple exercise on working on your title block. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.